So in this video we'll show how you can now upload files to either S3 or to your alpha server uh, using a drag and drop. So uh, for some time now alpha has supported the ability to upload files by using Action JavaScript to create a button and when you click the button that opens up a file picker where you can select one or multiple files. So I'll go there for example and choose a whole bunch of files there and upload those to um, S3 and then go now to look inside my S3 bucket and I can see here are the files that we've just uploaded. But I can also now go, let's just delete those files over there, and I can also now use uh, drag and drop. So I'm going to go and bring over the file explorer and then select say a whole bunch of files and just drop these into the drag and drop area. And you can see now that Alpha will start uh, uploading all those files. Um, and if we go over to our bucket, we can see that the files have been uploaded. So we can also um, uh, click on this drag and drop area to open up the file selector. So there's the uh, file selector and we can basically select files the traditional way by still using the drag and drop uh, area. So by defining a drag and drop area you can basically have the choice of either using drag and drop or still using the uh, file picker. So let's go now to the component and see how we configured this. So if we go back to the UX component we can see over here that we have uh, the standard button which we defined to upload to S3 and if we go look at the definition of that button we can see there's our action JavaScript and there's the definition of the button. So we're um, uploading to S3. There's our storage connection string and we've chosen to uh, display progress uh, at placeholder number one. And then we've gone over here and we've said that we'd like to put the uploaded files in a bucket on S3 called drag. So now let's go take a look at how we configured the drag drop upload option. So you can see we have a control there called a drag drop file upload um, control and if we go to other controls we'll see here in the other control section there's a new control type here called the drag and drop area. So if you put a drag and drop area on your UX component then you can go into the file upload properties over here and define properties of the upload. So you can specify that the upload either goes to S3 uh, or to an alpha server. And then you can specify your storage connection string. You can specify the object name on S3 and you can also specify uh, the placeholder where progress should be shown if you decide to show progress. Then uh, next you can go and define the drag and drop area properties. So you can define the text that shows up. Uh, you can define whether the text is centered vertically and also horizontally and you can define a style for this text. So we've just put basically a little gray border around that style and the actual size of the drag and drop area is defined by those two properties over there. So what we've shown over here is how easy it is to configure a UX component to support drag and drop file upload. Thanks very much for watching.